really, it's, it's just a great honor to be here, and I didn't want to get all sappy. Um, I'm going to save that for the final board meeting in a month or so, so we'll, we'll get there. Um, but it's great to see all of you from across the state of Maryland and other parts of the world. Um, this is a true honor for me to stand here and honor you, Dr. Couch, for all that you have done and advocated for our students, for our teachers and staff, for this county. And I, I personally cannot thank you enough for the board, but also all of the board members from the past and, and potentially future as well um, that are here, but I just want to say thank you. What I want to do... So I'd like to take this all back a little bit, and Dr. Couch is going to know exactly where, where I'm going to go with this because she has used this and I have used this um, at, in speeches at MAVE, the Maryland Association of Boards of Education, and really use this to kind of direct myself as, as I kind of work through the tough situations that we face each day, whether it's in education or in a personal life. 1910, University of Paris, Theodore Roosevelt gave a speech. You probably know it as the Citizenship in a Republic speech, but most of you know it as the man in the arena. I could use the woman in the arena, but I'll use man, it's just easier to read, so. <laughs> It's not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles, or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again, because there's no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he or she fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that her place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who never know victory or defeat. And what's, what's great about this speech is that, that he gave that day, it speaks to you. And you have been in my, this is my final year of eight years, <laughs> Uh, being on the board, I have been so impressed with your approach and the way you have advocated and the way when you believed in something, you didn't let go. It feels a bit surreal for me to be closing out a career of 43 years in public education. And to me, it, you know, I started out as a kindergarten teacher and never really thought I would go into administration, but I had a lot of great mentors along the way and realize that when you move up the ladder, yeah, it's a lot of work, but you can make such an incredible difference with the students that you serve. <laughs> Serving as the superintendent for Kent County Public Schools has been a, quite a ride. It's been <laughs> full of triumphs and lots of challenges. We may be small, but our heart and our commitment to our students has been immense. We've proven time and time again that it's not the size of a school system, but our commitment to the excellence of our staff and our students that really counts. And wow, have we achieved a lot. Our accomplishments from improving academic achievements to enhancing the well-being of our students speaks volumes for the work that we've done here. We've moved the needle in the right direction and we've paved the way for a future filled with endless possibilities. And I truly believe that. Tonight, I'm reminded that none of this, none of this would be possible without the support of many of you in this room. A heartfelt thanks goes out to my fellow Maryland superintendents, both sitting and retired. We've shared a lot. We've laughed a lot. I won't say how much we drank, but anyway. <laughs> we had a lot of connections there. And we learned a lot and we inspired countless students together. Your passion, dedication, and unwavering belief in the power of public education has left an indelible mark, not just on the institutions that we've all served, but on the hearts and the minds of those who had the privilege to guide. And to the Kent County Board of Education, thank you for your steadfast support, especially those he took a chance on me, little person from New Mexico, who I told my husband, they will never hire me. <laughs> you hired me 11 years ago during a grave budgetary crisis. And to each of you, thank you so much for your faith in my leadership 
and your continued support throughout some pretty tough decisions, you have been the backbone of our success. Even though I retired as a superintendent in New Mexico before coming here, I never ever treated this job as a retirement job. From the moment I stepped into this role, I became fully committed, dedicated my time and effort to making a tangible difference in Kent County. Despite facing some pretty tough personal challenges and losses, like the passing of my son the first year I was here, my mother two years later, and most recently my husband, I've always stayed committed, focused, and driven to make a difference in our community and our, to our kids. Looking around the room tonight, I can't possibly thank each and every one of you, although I wish I could. You don't want to hear all of it though, I'm sure. <laughs> But please know that I'm overwhelmed with gratitude for the role that each one of you has played in the success of the Kent County Public Schools.